Hi, I'm Tristan Yee. And I'm Alexia Vasilopoulos. And we are here to announce the, the top noxious moments of the year. Whoa, calm yourself. Sorry, but I've been waiting for this all year. Yeah, we all have. Okay, here we go. Coming up, the top, top no noxious moments of the year. 2014 has been full of new and exciting steps for Knox. On October 11th, President Teresa Mott and Student Senate President Hiba Ahmed introduced to the Knox community a completely renovated alumni hall. <laughs> and in April, Knox received the most generous gift from living donors in the history of the college, a $5 million donation from alumni Dick Whitcomb, class of 1957, and John Whitcomb, class of 1956, that will sponsor the construction of a brand new arts building on campus. Oh, I also made a rendering for it. Do you want to see it? Uh, sure. Roll it! Yeah! This building will be a great new addition to campus. In greener news, April also marked the opening of Knox's new high tunnels, and students are tasting the rewards in this fruitful endeavor in our very own Hard Knox Cafe. Get it? Fruitful endeavor? They are mostly vegetables. <laughs> anyway, the high tunnel foods used by the calf include baby kale, beets, carrots, and tomatoes. Tomatoes are fruits. In athletics, the men's soccer team just won their season and placed second in the championship tournament held on our very own Jorge Pratt's field. In football, the Lincoln Trophy was won for the first time in its history, causing quite a bit of purple and gold pride around campus. Mm. Galesburg plagued us with some cold weather in those final soccer games, but we stayed warm in the sizzle of that Knox Prairie Fire spirit. <laughs> Our publications have also proven their ability to carry the torch as well. Last month, the Knox student was a finalist for the Pacemaker Award in the four-year non-daily news category from the Associated College Press. Mm. And Catch won the 2014 National Programs Directors Award from the Association of Writers and Writers Programs. <laughs> Knox students blazing their way in the literary world. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> This year, Knox was awarded over half a million dollars in grants from the National Science Foundation. These grants were awarded to faculty members David Bundy in the Computer Science Department, Diana Cermak in the Chemistry Department, and Janet Kirkley from the Biochemistry Program. The sciences are really adding fuel to that prairie fire flame. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, that's all the Knoxy moments we have time for today. If you'd like to learn more about Knox, visit our sleek new website that launched this year at www.knox.edu. And stay tuned for next year's Noxiest Moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Prairie fire.